Hello. So finally, I've succeeded uh, to uh, to create a statically linked uh, WX widget application. So I can pass my application to other computer without without any DLL errors or anything. Okay. So let me just show you. So that's code generation, multi-threaded empty, and I can compile without any problem. So finally, so that's the window. Okay. So let me show you how to link statically uh, WX widgets. So here, w uh, WX widgets .org, download, uh, go uh, ahead and download this one here okay and the next thing go to C here I am in C uh, create a folder for example in my case that's WX2 and that's the downloaded WX widget and zip it inside this folder okay uh let's see here and press ok to unzip this this file in here in this folder okay so next what you wanna do so let me just show you here so you want to we want to build wx widgets using nmake so you have already you have installed the, uh, Visual Studio. So scroll down until Visual Studio. So and for me, I want to create 32-bit application because that I will I will use this command prompt. If you want to create 64, use this. If you want to use uh, to create both, use this command prompt. Okay. So that's 86 open it and where uh, let's go here where you uh, extracted the WX widgets go to build MSW and copy this this path here okay go here and press cd write cd and paste this path so we are inside this folder so we want to use this this make file okay uh let's go here so we use nmake slash f make file dot vc copy and paste it here so to build to build release if you want to build it to release to build the release to use this function and the most important thing to make the to build it as uh, to make it link uh, static linking go here see make parameters and here there is good stuff here build release shared equal so you can you can read this documentation I will put the link this link uh, in, the, in the descriptions below okay so that's the good thing that's what you search for link static version of c and c++ runtime libraries into the executable so that the the program does not depend on dll's provided with the compiler uh, for example this this dll here can be used with the uh, uh, msvc so that's it that's this caution so I want to use this parameter here. Let's copy and paste it here. So now just press enter. I already I've already 
uh, build it. Okay, I have already this library, this static linking library. Just here, just press enter, and this takes time, maybe 10 time, 20 time, 20 minutes of time. And when it when this finish, that's very simple. Open a new or create uh, create a new file, a new uh, project, or just use yours, and go to properties. So use any code. Just that's just simple uh, code for creating a window, and then go to properties C general and here let's remove them and include them with you okay so include so let's go to C WX2 include select this folder and let's let's open, uh, add another one. C W X two. Include and this now. So we have included these two folders, or we make these two two folders as our include folders. And let's go for the linker also. General here also. Let's delete it and include it again with you. I go here. Go to WX2. Lib. VC. And select this folder. OK. And for the code generation. Code generation select this one. OK. You want to select this one and okay apply press apply first and uh, okay so now so that's this this window here even if you have XP windows uh, <laughs> you can you can run this this program okay that's that's it that's the good way to create static linking uh, let's see let's see this this application three three thousand six hundred ten kilobytes so that's it thank you for watching